how and maybe most importantly, why to convert grid to magnetic and magnetic to grid coming up. Hey, welcome to the channel, friends. Man, as always, I am stoked to see you. So, Stoker here, and today, man, I got I got all kinds of mats here, right? And they all have different declination diagrams. And I'm gonna show you another one that was also sent in by Kyle, who sent in this question of how do we convert grid to magnetic or magnetic to grid? You know, what are we talking about? Especially all these diagrams look different and they don't all tell us what to do. And really, that's, that's the important thing. Not every single one out, out there tells us what to do. Like some of the ones that I have here, they tell us what to do, so it's too easy. And I'm, I'm saying it tells us what to do too many times. <laughs> so let's look at a few diagrams. I'm going to show you and put the easiest thing in your kit bag because we say a lot and you'll hear a, a lot, right? So if it's left, add, right, subtract, but what the hell are we talking about? We're talking about if the grid is left, is the magnetic left? What, what, is, this, what is this to the left? The left is so relative. So I'm going to show you the easiest thing you can put in your kit bag so that you'll always know. So if it's not written on the diagram, on your declination diagram, uh, then you'll know what to do. In which, to get the most up-to-date information, make sure you go to Noah's website. You can type in uh, your, your address uh, and, and plug into where you're at, and it'll tell you the most up-to-date time now what the declination is. Because declination, it changes over time. And so, uh, because, you know, the magnetic pole, it's, it's up top, it's moving around on us, and the Earth is wobbling, and all kinds of crazy, you know, magnetic things are going on. And you know it changes all the time, and so you need to be aware because the difference can make all the difference in the world. So up here, right up here in the Pacific Northwest, it's uh, it's about 15 and a half degrees right now, and you can imagine that if you move out at 10 degrees difference uh, over a course of a thousand meters, you're going to be off about about 170-ish meters, something like that, if I'm, if I'm doing the math right in my head. It's a lot. So if you're trying to find a pinpoint location, you're not going to be able to do it. In some places, the, the, you know, the, the declination may be close to nothing, and it's not that big of a deal, but you come out here to, to, to northwest, and it is a huge deal. So let's look at a couple maps here, and, uh, and we'll talk about how and show you some of these that they do tell you and some of them they don't tell you. And I have maps from... Uh, California, Hawaii, and uh, Washington State. And I'm going to show you another uh, one that Kyle had sent in, and it is also it's way different from from this one. And then I'm going to show you the number one easiest way to remember what to do and how to do it. Right. And so here we have a typical military declination diagram, which we'll find in the legend of every military map, and it shows us how to convert from magnetic. Uh, azimuth to a grid azimuth or back and forth shows us what that GM angle is and that GM is angle is the difference between the two between grid and magnetic so we can see we have all three north symbolized here we have true north with the star we have grid north and then we have magnetic north right and so it tells this one tells us how to convert from a magnetic to a grid we add and to convert from a uh, grid azimuth to a magnetic azimuth we subtract Right, and then if we come over here, we look at, uh, here's another one. This is down in, in California. Uh, we can see, you know, same thing. We have true north, grid north, and magnetic north. Same thing. Uh, this one is 11.9 degrees, you know, down in California. Whereas this one, when this was plotted, was uh, 15.4 degrees. And it tells us the same thing, right, to convert. Magnetic to grid, add to convert, grid, magnetic, subtract, right? This is a civilian map uh, from up here in the Pacific Northwest. And let's get to the legend down here. And we can see right here, also in the legend of a map, shows us that we have 18 degrees difference, and this is from 2009, uh, from... Um, and it doesn't even tell us if that's from true north to magnetic or if that's from grid to magnetic. I, you know, I do have a minute and 15 seconds here, so I'm going to assume that's only from true north to magnetic north. But that's, this other difference is, is so negligible, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even be concerned about it. I have another, uh, this one is from Hawaii. And 
We can see on this one over in Hawaii, it was um, just over nine degrees difference was that GM angle. And the same thing, I have a magnetic uh, azimuth, I have a grid north, and I have a true north. And so this is showing us that the difference between, uh, or to convert is going to be the same thing from magnetic to grid add, from grid to magnetic subtract. Right, and then if we look at the image that Kyle sent in, it's also kind of weird uh, because you have true north that's kind of in the center, and you have grid north on the left, magnetic north on the right, and it doesn't tell us what to do at all like uh, most military typographical maps do. Most civilian maps are not going to tell you what to do. And so it shows us that the, the difference between grid north to, to true north is you know one degree, and then from true north to magnetic north is three degrees. Right, and so in this particular case, we're going to take both of those together. We're going to add them up. So it's going to give us four degrees is going to be the difference between grid north and magnetic north. Right, and so there it is. Uh, so what about this left add, right, subtract, man? You know, at the end of the day, it ultimately depends on where you're at on the isogonic line and what that's going to mean for you. So if you're to the left, if you're to the west of the isogonic line, uh, then your left add, right, subtract is going to be, if you're trying to convert from grid to magnetic, you're going uh, to add, left add, grid to magnetic add. But if you're on the, on the east side of the isogonic line, if you're on, on the right coast as opposed to the left coast, then it's going to be the exact opposite. So you can put uh, MAGA, you know, uh, I've heard all kinds of acronyms uh, over the years. Uh, and again, it'd be magnetic add, right? Uh, whatever. Um, so hopefully that, that sheds a little bit of light for you on, on what to do and how some of the, these differences are out there. Hope you enjoyed the content in the video, Kyle. Hope this answered uh, your question. I know we've talked about this before in the past as well, uh, but I think it was a good one and, and Kyle agreed. Well, it was kind of his idea that somebody else may have the same question because not every declination diagram tells us what to do, and not, they're not all written or, or formed the same way. It's not really standardized. So if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you like it, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell if you want to stay up to date on some future content. Leave some comments down below, and we'll keep this conversation rolling. And as always, until then, you stay stoked.